All right, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. If you guys are new, please subscribe to the channel. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday as much as possible. I'm a high school student, so sometimes it's hard to post content and stick with the uploading schedule. I hope you guys understand. If you guys are new, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And if you guys have been here um, for a long time, thank you also for always watching my videos and supporting me. But today, I'm actually going to be doing something that has been long awaited and it's going to be restoring my headlights and getting rid of those ugly yellow halogens and putting in some brand new LEDs. So it's gonna look so much better. I'm gonna get a whole new revamp and um, I restored my carbon fiber hood with the Camposites Lotus hood vent um, as to the best of my ability. And so the whole front is gonna be basically, you know, what I think is perfect. But this car is by no means perfect, but it's my daily driver, so it's not gonna stay perfect, you know, stuff is gonna happen. But I mean, go ahead and restore them. Um, luckily, Mitch is gonna be helping me out so much with this process. So um, let's go ahead and get to it. I'm really, really excited, and maybe um, we can get the MR2s together, but let's see, um, so stay tuned. So what we're doing is we're gonna tape up um, the, around the headlight because this kit requires a little bit of wet sanding and so um, try to minimize scratches on the vinyl wrap. So we're just taping around and we do that on both sides when we can get started. Alright, so we're putting on the lowest grit. I think this one's a 500 grit pad and you connect it to a, a drill. There's a 3M restoration kit that uses a drill and there's one without the drill, but the drill one um, works a little bit better. And his MR2 headlights came out so good. So I'm pretty excited because these are really, really yellow and fogged up. All right, so you should be left with this, after rinsing, you should be left with this foggy, very, very even. And if you look at it, it's very reflective still. But let me know what you guys uh, think of putting like eyelids here. Um, I may or may not, and what color? Because if I do black, then it'll blend better with where it matches the hood. If I do red, then it could match better right here. So I don't know. I always love the look of the eyelids. But I can't wait for this one. A little spider inside of the headlight. All right, just got done with the 800 grip pad and rinse it off. So you see it's getting a little bit more clear. Still super even. He's doing a super good job with it. But, yep. Making moves now. If you guys haven't watched the previous video, I put on the strut brace. It feels, it feels a lot different too. Yeah. All right, just got done with the 3000 grip pad. Now it's time for like the little solution or whatever, but it's looking super, super good. This one's in even worse condition than that one was. 
and it already has like swirl marks or something from being sanded but um, this is going to be a little bit more of a challenge and it's super yellow over here but it'll all be gone like how clear this one is I've never seen it like that it's going to really tie in the front end together a lot this hood love it this is a rubbing compound on the uh, flown pad this is the same velcro um, drill bit adapter and we're just going to apply it to the already clear lenses so we see what it does i'm excited all right got it all applied here we go with the final wipe it's gonna look so good especially with the leds oh my god oh my god there you go Holy crap, they're brand new. <sighs> Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm actually going to put the LEDs in the next video, so stay tuned for that. Um, but if you guys are new, please subscribe to the channel. These look absolutely amazing. Huge thanks to Mitch for this. They look so, so good. Um, I'll jump to the cinematics in a sec, but um, I'll see you guys next one. Peace out, and let your passion drive you.